Hey, I'm Graham. Welcome back to my channel. So this week I decided to do a haul video. I'm not sure how it happened, but I ended up buying art supplies almost every day this last weekend. So let's jump right in. So I've been doing a lot more drawing lately, and I don't really like the look of drawings when they're behind glass in a frame. So I'm going to try mounting my drawing to one of these. So it's an ampersand hardboard panel. So I got the 2 inch depth frame, and it's just unfinished hardboard. So this one's a 5 by 8 inch, and then I got this one which is a 12 by 12 inch. So they're a bit pricey, so I decided to just try two of them and see how I like it before I commit to buying a bunch of them. So to mount the paper to the board, I got this golden acrylic matte medium. So from what I read online, it's the best thing to use on adhering paper to these boards. I also decided I wanted to do a mixed media drawing on one of the panels. So for that, I got a couple tubes of gouache. So I got this Winsor Newton Spectrum Red, and then I also got a tube of the Zinc White. Again, they're kind of expensive, so I just got the two different colors just to try them out. When I was walking out of the paint aisle by the brushes, I saw this small number two little filbert brush, and I like kind of the rubbery grip on it, so I picked it up. You can never have too many brushes. So another impulse buy was this iridescent set of watercolors. It was only a few dollars, I'm not sure if I'll ever use it, but I thought it might be nice to layer on top of one of my drawings. Next I picked up this plastic palette. It was just like a 99 cent buy. I couldn't remember if I had one at home, so I thought I'd pick one up in case. So next I picked up these number 11 X-Acto blades. So I'm not sure how I go through them so quick. I feel like I'm always buying them. Do you guys go through a lot of them? Also, what do you guys do with your old blades? I have like a box of these old used ones that I just keep collecting. Next, I picked up a couple of these little foam brushes. I thought they'd be good to use for the acrylic medium to smooth across the panels. And I think they were less than like 50 cents a piece. So next I have these eraser refills. They came in the mail on Friday, I think. So what there is are refills for the mono mechanical eraser. I can't find them anywhere local. And so here's the eraser that these refills are for. So it's great for getting in little tiny areas because it has a really small tip. But the problem is you go through it pretty quick because it's so small. But so you can just pull out the old one and then the new one slide right in. All right, so we're starting to get to the end here. I picked up a can of this Krylon Workable Fixative. So normally I use this for my charcoal drawings, but I thought I'd give it a try for some of my graphite drawings also. And then for the mixed media piece I was talking about, I got a can of this crystal clear acrylic coating. It's from Krylon also. So it says it's a permanent protective gloss finish, non-yellowing, moisture resistant. It says it dries in minutes, but I tried it out and it took quite a bit longer and it smelled really bad, so it's definitely a, an outdoor activity. So I have another project coming up on the channel in the next few weeks, and I need a couple supplies for that. So I got this acid-free glue. It's for like book binding. It's clear, non-toxic, and it says it won't yellow. And it's from Helmar. And I picked up this new bone folder for like uh, creasing paper, and it works great for like book binding projects, things like that. And then lastly, I got a yard and a half of this Crafty Cuts canvas. So I was looking for book cloth, but no one local sold it. So I, hopefully this will work for what I need. If not, it'll be good practice, and I'll order what I need online. I got one more thing. So I've been looking for a new straight edge ruler for like tearing down paper for my printmaking projects. And all the art stores want 20 or $30 for like a four footer. So I was at Harbor Freight Tools, which is just like a giant tool warehouse. And they have pretty good deals on things. So they had this 48 inch aluminum straight edge and they only won $4 for it. So it was like an amazing deal. I don't know how the art stores are selling the same thing for $25, $30. So anyways, Harbor Freight Tools, I don't know if it was just a one-time clearance or what, but it was a great deal. So that wraps up my art store haul. So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about anything I had here. And I'll make sure I put links to the items down in the description box for you guys. So I'm working to upload a new art related video every week. So let me know down in the comments if you like this kind of video, if you want to see more of them. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're into these sort of videos. And I really appreciate if you guys help share this video and hit the thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you next time.